tight little group you got here. And a pretty nice ship. You'd be rich if you took to piracy, but you wouldn't. I can't figure you, Shepard. Doesn't matter. I've got to talk to you about something. I'd like to ask you a few things. Later. I have to talk to you now. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. I need to get to Pragia, Shepard. Soon. Remind me what you wanted me to do. I need your help to face my past with Cerberus.
I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah. They build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. The man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew, he won't find out. The elusive man requested operate. Sounds like this facility. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. <laughs> Into this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. <laughs> <laughs> 